Did you know that every god of destruction has one angel attendant? Angels in the Dragon Ball universe are very mysterious, and little is known about them. But from what we do know, they come from their very own realm, not too dissimilar from Xeno's realm. They're immortal in every sense, with the only way to truly kill them being annihilation, similar to what Xeno did to Zamasu, but possibly on a greater level. Angels all have the same set of abilities, that being warp, temporal do-over, and ultra instinct, the last of which is a state that they constantly live in. While they do seem all-powerful, they aren't exempt from rules, and possess their own angel laws. Among these laws is a restriction to never take sides in a conflict between good and evil, to never ask for their universe to be saved from destruction, and to never go full power in a fight against a mortal. Each of these laws can be circumvented, however, if by a request by the destroyer they serve. Angels also appear to grow younger the more they age, as both the Grand Minister and his daughter Kusu are the oldest angels on screen, though this theory is just speculation as Miris is younger than Whis. This could merely be because Miris is short though. Subscribe for more videos like this!